Okay, good Monday morning, everybody. Uh, let me check the volume on the mic. Yeah, it's pretty good. I am, I learned I'll find my way home. I play by ear, and it was really easy, four or five chords. The melody is really simple, but I want to show the soon-to-be owners or new owners of the PA5X why you should not neglect these pads here. You can use the matrix pads as well. I just use these. You can use these alone just for your style if you need to or if you want to. You don't need to. I suggest you use your style and then just fill these when uh, sounds that uh, act as arpeggiators and really fill the so sound out. Uh, just like this song, there's times where it's kind of slower and empty and then it just builds and builds and builds which is perfect for an arranger like this um, I will show you how I set up I'm, I've added all of these on my own I added synth pianoid uh, square synth 5 trance filter and funky machine I have this as my just to add more beat to it when the song builds. Check this out. I don't want to play too much. Let me let me kill that. I don't want to play too much because I when I do the entire song on its own, it's going to be copyrighted, and I don't want to do get both copyrighted. So well, this one might get copyrighted. Um, so I'll play little bits, and then I'll also show you why I firmly believe in having a good synth workstation to accompany your arranger. You obviously, it's not necessary, but there is no way that I could get the sound that I'm using here and duplicate it with this. It's impossible. I took a combi on here, combination, and I added three more sounds to it so that I have I'll have 11 sounds layered on this combination. So, you hear that? How it swells and pans. And I can play that while I'm using the PA5X. So, it just adds so many more layers uh, to your music. So, if you can swing it. Get a cheap arranger, get a cheap workstation to go with it. Um, I had a subscriber say that, well, don't the Nautilus and PA5X just overlap each other with all the same sounds? No. And then I, I replied or commented uh, with the synth sounds alone, there's four or five hundred more uh in the Nautilus and the PA5X for obvious reasons. The PA5X is not a a board you're going to buy to be uh, playing synth music only. It's here to replicate real band instruments. And the pianos too. There's a couple hundred pianos in the Nautilus and there's 70 or 75 in the PA5X. I think there's 200 factory pianos in the uh, Nautilus. I could be wrong, but that just might be program mode. I don't know about combi mode. So anyways, here we go. Here's the style. We're not even going to use that to begin with. We're going to put this funky machine pad here. And here's the synth sounds I added. And there's several hundred. Let me preface this with I bought the Global Sound Artist Edition. And it came with three or four hundred extra pad sounds and arpeggiators. And I'm using some of those are what these pads are. So we have this.
that's just an example of uh, you can use these as your style. Um, and then you can add, you can change your keyboard such as you go and keep building and building it like this is just French horn. Now it sounds totally different. So uh, I spent quite a bit. The song took 10 minutes to learn, finding. I added movie strings down here for my lower sound. And then you have your upper three. And I found the four pads I liked with the arpeggiated patterns that I liked. And I had a, uh, been tuned the, uh, some of them to get the octaves up. But... Uh, you can change, you can do whatever you want in here. I, I changed some of the background style sounds. That's another thing people don't think you can make or edit styles on this P PA5X. It is by far the most in-depth arranger. You just have to want to dig into it. It's not, you're not going to sit down at this thing and uh, be able to find everything and edit it really quick when well once you get used to it you can today i did i went and i removed some uh some stratocaster sounds in the background and i added some of my own into the style and then i saved it to my uh, songbook and then my set list so once you get used to it it's muscle memory you can do these things pretty quick so let's do a quick run through i will turn these on again one of these is too loud style with the four pads running you could hear how much it filled it out let's do this again this is this is without the pads Okay, that's it. Um, I really like the the addition of having the Nautilus here because that sound is just awesome. It's awesome. But I, I just wanted to show everybody who are neglecting your pads, do not neglect your pads. You can make a song so much fuller. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to do this song. I don't know if I'm going to actually try to do a whole run-through of it. But uh, I'll upload this video today. I believe today is the eclipse day. Everyone's talking about that. I really don't care about it. <laughs> I have the day off, so I will be playing 
I've already been playing since 1 a.m., and it is after 10 a.m., and those nine hours felt like 20, 20 or 30 minutes. You guys know how it is when you sit down at these toys. <laughs> okay, so uh hope you guys got some informative input from this. Uh, do not ignore your pads here or your matrix pads. You can... Gitana y puro para nosotros. ¡Ale! ¡Vivo nosotros! ¡Vamos, ¡Ale! ¡Vamos, ¡Ale! See this atmosphere melody one. You can use that. Another example, you can load up all the sounds on here. You can use whichever ones you want. Um, that is really cool. Okay, thank you for watching. If, if you know anybody that's getting a PA5X in the near, near future or is interested in it and wants to know more, please send this to them. Because when I was shopping around and looking to see what was going on with this there were very few people maybe two people online that were explaining things not really explaining but showing what this is capable of other people were just blasting through stuff and i'm like well what does that do what does this do what do those do so i'm just trying to fill the void that i couldn't find and i hope it makes somebody it helps them make their decision if they don't want it if they do want it um, if you've never had a Korg before, this is going to be overwhelming. I think that's a good word. I've, for me, it's, I can do this in my sleep almost now. I've had so many keyboards from Korg, also Rangers. I had the 2X or was the 3X, 3X. Um, so if you are not used to the Korg ecosystem, uh, maybe go find somebody you know that has one and spend three or four hours at it and see if you want to spend the five or six grand on it. Um, I do not believe in telling people, oh, yeah, go buy this. It's the best one. That's not going to work. Everyone approaches things differently. Um, I know people that cannot stand the Korg workflow just as I cannot stand the Yamaha workflow or the Roland. Forget that. The Roland workflow, no thank you, not my thing. Um, it's because I've been in this ecosystem for 40 years. So buy what you like, it's your money. Buy what is most approachable for you, what's most comfortable for you. It's not necessarily which has the best sounds because at the end of the day, the people watching these on YouTube, for the majority, they can't tell a damn difference. Or if you're gigging with it, people on the other end, out in the audience, they can't tell the difference. It all sounds great. All of these keyboards sound fantastic. There is no bad workstation or arranger. They all sound good from all brands. They sound great. Just find what fits your budget, what you can sit down and play with. Like I sat down and I learned that song in less than probably eight or nine minutes. Obviously, you saw how quick the chords were. This is the same thing over and over. And I've been listening to the song for 40 years, so I didn't have to even load it up on my phone or on YouTube on the Xbox to watch it or listen to it. I knew exactly what key it was. And uh, that's one of the benefits by being able to hear a song and playing it immediately. But uh, yeah, if you know anybody that's getting PA5X, share this with them and hopefully... Uh, it steers them in the right direction because nobody wants to spend five or six grand on something and then get it home and go, oh my goodness, now I got to go return it and try another one and maybe they won't like the second one and they got to try a third and fourth one. But if you are 
a Korg fan and you've been in the ecosystem, go buy this. <laughs> it is amazing. I hope this mic volume's all right. Uh, it seems to be through the editor. So, okay, guys, have a good one. Be careful during the uh, pandemic. There might be some crazies out there. Um, if you're not working, sit at home and watch Arranger videos. <laughs> okay, guys, take care. Thank you for watching as always. And thank you. Uh, I just got like another 100 subs in the last week and another four or 500 watch hours in a week. That's more than I've gotten in the last two years. So I see through the analytics at the end of the week, my weekly update, that it's, there's a lot of uh, sharing. And I appreciate everybody doing that. Um, I'm mainly doing this so people don't go out and waste money on something and feel overwhelmed. And then those are the people that get on, oh, that PA5X is garbage. I could do anything with it. That's not the Ranger's fault. That's your fault. You shouldn't have jumped into something that you've never had with a, with a company or a product you've never used and expected to just sit down and play it. I mean, it is simple. It's laid out very easy. Um, I mean, everything is editable. That's the set. That's the keyboard set. You can see everything up here. Here's the style. Here's where you mute or change the volumes and everything in the style. turned all these down they were all on 80 and I turned them down to 45 they were far too loud that's another thing um, you will be doing a lot of volume changing on all of these instruments and all the backing tracks because a lot of the time no matter what you do your upper one two and three sounds will even if maxed out at 127 will not be loud enough you have to lower everything else you see here that's just the way it is Okay, guys, have a good day. Have a good week. Um, I can't believe we're already into the second week of April. Crazy. Okay, take care. Thank you for watching.